good evening students myself dr vishnu cc assistant professor department of chemistry jss arts science and commerce degree college gokak in previous class we will discuss introduction of kinetics of chain reactions definition of chain reactions general aspects of chain reactions that is initiation step propagation step inhibition step termination step and branching step and definition of chain length today we will discuss chain transfer reaction what is chain transfer reaction here we can see that the bromine free radical will attack hydrogen molecule to form hbr plus h free radical then h free radical will attack another reactant molecule that is bromine molecule to form hbr plus bromine free radical you can see that in first reaction there is a formation of h free radical in second reaction there is a formation of bromine free radical here the free radical is trans the h free radical is transferred to bromine free radical this is called chain transfer reaction then what is chain transfer reaction in some chain propagation step initial chain carriers are consumed and new chain carriers are generated by reaction with some existing molecular species such type of reaction called chain transfer reaction this is called chain transfer reaction next we will come to the kinetics of branching chain reaction you already know that what is branching step branching step what happens the free radicals is consumed and produces more than one free radicals that is called branching step let us consider a general gaseous chain reaction in which r is the reactant c is the reactive chain carrier p is the product and n is the number of chain carriers generated by one carrier in the chain propagation in first initial step what happens this is r is the reactant decomposes to form c free radical put k1 as a rate constant this is initiation step next we will come to the propagation step in propagation step what happens the c free radical will attack the r that is reactant molecule to form p as a product plus n c free radical put k2 as a rate constant this is called propagation step in next step what happens termination step that is c free radicals combines and end the chain there is no formation of continuous of chain and for to form a r as the reactant put k3 as a rate constant next the rate of formation of chain carrier that is dc by dt is equal to k1 r minus k2 c into r plus n k2 c into r minus k3 c consider steady state approximation that is dc by dt is equal to 0 what is steady state means concentration of a free radical is constant at any instant that is called as a steady state that is dc by dt is equal to 0 in next step what happens right is uh, k1 up uh, comes outside that is in the air positive and it becomes a negative minus k1 or is equal to c as a common minus k2 or plus n k2 or minus k3 
in next step what happens this minus what where it is minus is converted into positive that is k1 r is equal to c here minus k2 r is converted into positive that it is k2 r minus n k2 r plus k3 k1 r is equal to c into k2 r as a common k2 r into 1 minus n plus k3 they have put c as a outside and what happens the equation k1 r divided by k2 r 1 minus n plus k3 this is called this is equation number 1 for k3 put kw plus kg in equation number 1 then what happens equation c is equal to k1 r divided by k2 r 1 minus n plus kw plus kg this is the equation for kinetics of branching reaction kw means collision against the walls of the container kg means collision with other gas molecules this is the brief expression of kinetics of chain reactions thank you